This video is produced by Godly Christian Ministries. If you'd like to find more resources like it, you can go to www.godlychristianministries.com. This video is the fourth video in a four-part video series on the Word Bible software. In the first video, we learned how to download and install the program. The second video, we learned how to add Bibles, dictionaries, and commentaries onto the program. And in the fourth, third video, we learned how to use some of the basic features of the software. And in this one, we're going to learn some more advanced features and some tips and tricks. All right, let's get going. Uh, first of all, when you come here, you can see that uh, I have a lot more dictionaries and Bibles and stuff like that on here. And uh, if you want to see all of them, you can click on these little arrows here and pop up. Is what you're going to see, though, is there's a bunch of things highlighted here as well. And what that means when it's highlighted is that there, the verse that I'm currently clicked on has a entry in it for that, diction, for that commentary. Or if I click on a word uh, and you click on a dictionary, then it's going to show you every time that the that that dictionary has an entry for that particular word that you clicked on. It also works with these strong numbers as well. So you'll see that. Okay. So now, the, one of the neat features about the word is that it's fully capable of customizing and, and moving things around however you might want to do that. And so let's say I want to pull this thing out uh, and have it as its own window. I can do that. There it is. Or I can drop it in any location that I want on the screen. So if I want to drop it over there, I can. But I really like it over here, so I'm going to leave it over there. <laughs> All right. One of the other things you can do is you can expand out these windows so you can just see what, are you, what you're trying to read at the particular time. Let's just say I want to read the Bible. Well, click in the Bible View window and click this button and bam there it is it pops open all the way click it again shrinks back down click inside the this book view and click here and it pops open uh, with that whole commentary listing well, it works with all these different things here and so now you heard me use the word Bible view and book view and, and different things like that well if you come to the window up here you'll see New Bible View, New Book View, New Bible Search View, uh, New Search, New Book Search View, and all these different things here. You can add, just click on the, have another one pop up on there. If you do, and you want to customize the one that pops up, this is a book view right here. I have it currently selected uh, as a commentary uh, book view, and let me zoom in real quick so you can see this a little bit better. Uh, click on there. Okay, and now is what you see here is that uh, when I clicked on this guy up in the top corner, you'll see that there's uh, I can have all my modules appear inside that book view. I can have all my dictionaries, I can have all my commentaries, I can have all my books, I can have maps and graphics, I can have my notes, or I can define what modules I want. So maybe I want some mo some dictionaries, some commentaries, or different things in that book view. I can customize it all however I want to do it. And so I just click up there. This one has it. That one has it. I just have each one of these customized the way I like it. And so my commentaries are here. My dictionaries are here. And my books and notes and stuff are right down there. And my Bible is right here. Well, let's say I don't want these big bonk and bars all over the place right here. And so, uh, you know, one thing I can do in order to get make these little things, all these X's and and boxes disappear, I can click on this thing right up here. And when I click on that, it'll make it all disappear. Let me show you. Bam, there it is, gone. All right, that's kind of a handy thing to know. Uh, that way, it just makes it less cluttered on the screen. You don't have to look at as much. And uh, if you want to do that, then you can. But now let's say I want to add a, uh, I want to, I want to add a, a different view on here of something and I want to do a book search. Uh, I click on window, I go to uh, new book search view and click on it and bang it pops open and shoved it in the corner here. Well it kind of oversized that in there so let me resize it back a little bit. You can see things a little bit better. My commentary, my dictionary and my book over here. Well I can select different books over here that I have in here or I can click on this little book thing 
I'm going to select Andrew Murray. And what this is, is it's a complete listing of all of Andrew Murray's books. Every one of them. All right here. Pretty, pretty neat. Uh, well, let's say I want to do a search on all of Andrew Murray's books for the word humility. Okay, well, I just come over to my book search view that I just added on over here, and I type in the word humility, like I already did, and I, I select over here what I want to search. I can search my current module, which is my Andrew Murray, because I just clicked on that, or I can select uh, this and select off whatever modules I want to do my search in. I could choose to do a search in any one of these for the word humility, or all of them for that matter. Or if I want to quickly select all of them, I can just click all modules. And it will search all of my modules and give me the results in this one window of everything that, uh, every time the word humility appears. I'm just going to click the button real quick. That's let me know that I need to select something here. So I, I selected my current view, so I'm selecting Andrew Murray. And there it goes, all the results for Andrew Murray every time the word humility appears. And if I hover over it, it pops up with the thing. If I click on it, it'll, it'll pull it up over in uh, my book view. Uh, so there you go. That's how you do a book search. And it's a very powerful tool. You can search all sorts of stuff on your site very quickly, uh, or your, your uh, program here and all your modules very quickly. All right, let's say I want to get rid of this thing, though, because it's just taking up space and I'm not using it. We'll just come over here again and click on uh, that little arrow up there, and it will pop up the thing there again, and you can close it. I'm going to click on it again up here, and bam, it's gone. You'll notice that some things move around a little bit. That shifted back and forth when I was clicking on stuff. That that just happens. That's fine. All right, now, um, okay, so let's let's look at uh, one thing here with the, this... Uh, I'm looking at the Bible view here right now, and there's all sorts of Strong's numbers on here that I don't want to see. And if I was looking at my uh, Tischendorf Greek Bible with all the accents and, and everything like that, I don't want to see all these Strong's numbers and morphology codes and stuff. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to click Bible view options. Or I'm going to come over here and uh, click on this little gear. Now it popped up over here, and it lists off a bunch of different things. Here's the morphology code. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click Show No Link. I'm going to click on the Strong's number, and I'm going to click Show No Link. And bam, all of that stuff is gone. But it's not really gone, because if I move my mouse over it, there it is. All the morphology code, all the, all the Strong's number and Greek definition. So I can sit here and read to my heart content uh, these different things here. And if I don't know where it, I just move my mouse over it. But if you're looking at it and you're thinking this is all Greek to me, then you can do you can the same thing works for the uh, English dig, English Bibles as well. Move your mouse over this King James Bible that had the Strong's numbers in it before, and bam, it pops up with a Greek word. Pretty nice. Now, what's nice as well is that I can do. Uh, there's another Bible called the Apostolic Polyglot, and it's a it, it translates everything off the Greek. It has the Greek Septuagint which is the old, it's a Greek translation of the Old Testament, and it has a Greek New Testament uh, as well behind this whole thing. Is why this is practical, if you're wondering why would I ever care, is let's say you want to do a search for every time that the word do appears, for instance, uh, in the New Testament and the Old Testament, because you want to do a word study on the Greek word do. Well, right-click on it and find Strong's number, uh, in the AP uh, English, ABP English, and bam, there you go. Every time that uh, that word appeared in the Old Testament and the New Testament is right there. Poieto, do. Okay. So you can do you can do a lot of stuff with this thing. It's a very powerful tool. Um, I hope you're. I hope you can get an idea here now of, of what you what you have available to you with uh, the Word Bible software. You can do so much, and I could probably keep going, but uh, time's running out. So I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you feel like you know a little bit more about this program.